In this video, we will see how to configure a global catalog in Windows Server 2016. The global catalog is a central information database that can hold data describing objects throughout the Active Directory forest namespace. Active Directory builds up the global catalog by replicating information between all domain controllers in the forest. In this way, a comprehensive and complete database of all available objects is automatically built up. When you install the very first Windows Server 2016 Active Directory domain controller in your network, it is automatically promoted as a global catalog server and no manual intervention is required. However, if you promote other Windows Server 2016 computer to the Active Directory domain controller, the configuration process prompts you to use the server as a global catalog server as well. If you did not choose to use the additional domain controller as the global catalog server at the time of the configuration, you can go through the instruction given in this video tutorial that would guide you through the process of promoting a Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain Controller as a global catalog. For obvious reason, in order to reduce the additional consumption of network bandwidth, make sure you do not promote all the available Active Directory Domain Controller to the global catalog servers. As the base practice, you should always configure the Active Directory Domain Controller as the global catalog server only when the domain is scattered in multiple sites. One global catalog server per site would be fine. So let's see how we can make Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain Controller a global catalog server. So this is the our lab scenario. Here we have uh, our domain controller name lab lab and that is the our domain controller with DNS service server role and this domain controller is uh, our global catalog server. We have another domain controller name lab lab and this is the ADC with DNS server rule. This is the our lab DC01 server. Let's click on start button and click on Windows Administrative Tools. Select and double click on Active Directory Site and Services. Once you open Active Directory Site and Services, expand sites, expand default first site name and expand server. As you can see, here we have a two domain controller named lab dc one and lab dc 2 for our domain mprtv.lab. And as you can see, the DC type is global catalog, that is lab dc one and lab dc 2 is normal domain controller. So we want to configure our lab dc 2 as a global catalog. So expand lab dc 2 and just select entity settings, right click on it and select properties. Here you have to select this checkbox to make this server as a global catalog server. If you want to remove any server from as a global catalog server, that time you have to just clear this checkbox. Click on apply and here as you can see the amount of time it will take to publish the global catalog varies depending on your application topology. Let's click on OK and let's again click on servers. Now let's click on refresh. And as you can see, now we have a two global catalog server named lab dc one and lab dc 2 Remember, it is recommended you have to configure one global catalog server per site. For this demonstration, we configured two global catalog server per single site. So in this way, we can configure Windows Server 2016 domain controller as the global catalog. That's it for this video demonstration. 